everybody, my name is Erin Himes and I'm the environmental educator for Gaston County. Today we're going to be talking about soil. I work with a lot of school groups and when I ask what is soil, most students tell me it's dirt. And I'm not picky, you can call soil dirt, dirt soil, but I use those words a little bit differently. I think of dirt as being soil where we don't want it, like on our floor or in the water. Soil is what we call it when it is where it's supposed to be outside, supporting a healthy ecosystem. Healthy soil is super important to the ecosystem, but what does it mean for soil to be healthy? Let's check out the soil right here beneath our feet. So we are walking around on the top here and you can see as we get deeper into the soil it changes color and even texture. These layers are called horizons and all together we have what is called a soil profile. Each type or series of soil has a different profile. The horizons of a different profile may have different colors, textures, or depths. There are 36 different types of soil in Gaston County and over 20,000 in the whole United States. On average, however, a soil is made up of about 50% pore space, or spaces between rock particles, with about 25% of that pore space containing water and 25% containing air. 45% of the soil are small pieces of rock that have been weathered into soil particles, and just 5% is what we call organic matter. So what does all this mean for healthy soil? There are no hard and fast rules about what that looks like. It depends on where the soil is found. Is it supporting the ecosystem above it? But I will say a good general rule, especially if we're talking about supporting plant life, is whether or not the soil has good microbial activity. In other words, how healthy is the microscopic life found within the soil? Is it diverse? Is the soil food web balanced? So you could argue that healthy soil comes down to that 5% organic matter content. All right, so for our activity today, we're gonna to see what kind of soil life that we can discover. Most of the organic matter is here in the top six inches of soil, so that's where we're gonna focus our attention. For this activity, you will need mesh strainers with different sized holes. You can even use a piece of screen over a plastic container. You will also need a collection bin, and if you have them, a trowel, tweezers, magnifying glass, and ice cube tray may be helpful. Oh, and what you're gonna do is I want you to use the shovel and put some leaves and some dirt in here. Can you do that? Yeah. Oh, good scoop. All right, so now we have our sample here in the bowl. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this screen. I'm just gonna lay it tight across the top. I'm gonna turn it over. Okay. I'm gonna shake it into my bin just to see what comes out. I'm gonna see if we got any insects in here. Let's go down to a smaller size. So I'm going to pour our sample right into the next smallest size that I have and I'm gonna shake it. So let's take a look and see if we find any other insects here. Or arthropods or soil critters. I see a little bit of movement in here. All right. I'm gonna go down to a smaller size. You can just do this as many times as you have screens for. Do you see any? Yeah, I see any. He does, he sees some bugs in there. And our last size. You wanna help me shake this last one? All right, all of you, shake, 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 sir. Shake, shake, shake. Right over this. Whoop. All right. <laughs> Let's use those tweezers and see what we can find. Oh, do you see that little guy? I see lots of little guys moving around. So we found a pretty high biodiversity in the forest today. When you go out and do this activity, record how many of each type of soil organism that you found. Then I recommend repeating this activity in different habitats and comparing your results. I released all of my specimens today, but if you're interested in preserving yours, I'll add some links 
in the description below that will have resources on that, as well as more resources that will allow you to dig further into soil life. We get a lot of benefits from healthy soil. In preparation for next week's lesson, grab your notebook and head outside. As you walk, make a list of everything you can think of that soil does to help us out. Next week, we'll talk about all that and what we can do to return the favor. See you next time.